to finish this series by showing some bottom stuff that you can do on your own. Good or great wrestlers figure out how to get better on their own using their resources in their wrestling room. So we're going to move over here to the wall in just a minute. I'm going to show you some different stuff that we do with our guys in terms of getting them better in the bottom. So hang with me. Okay, let's go to some drills here, some stuff that you can do individually. And sometimes you can incorporate a teammate, but this is mostly individual stuff that can help you. Great stuff to do after practice. It's great conditioning, especially when you're tired. Uh, I can't say enough about guys that come in and really, really want to work at the bottom. So first off, the very first thing is just doing it by yourself. Just working on your position. Setting up, work on your setup, work on your explosion, and work on your position. So you know you're ready here, boom, right here. Making sure I come with my head up. Making sure I'm not in here. Making sure I really work. That might be kind of easy to do when you're fresh, but if you just got done doing sprints, you just got done doing piggybacks, you come in the ground here, you gotta do 20 of these. Really helps bottom position. Even us old guys get tired of doing that. All right, the second drill that you can do, I explained this in the video, is we used to call this a headgear drill. Mateo, so I'm gonna use him down here as one of my athletes. We talked about working on explosion. All right, so I'm gonna put a headgear. Again, I want him to have this V back. I want him to get his head up. I want him to look at the referee. I don't care if he takes a jump, if he has one false start. That's how ready I want him to be. I don't have a problem at all. So I'm gonna put this right here. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm going to blow the whistle, I'm going to say go, when I say go, he's got to work, he's got to explode, and he's got to try to get one, I don't care which foot it is, one foot or the other foot on the mat hard, and he's going to see if he can throw me the headgear. Ready, set, go. Pretty good, all right? Pretty good. Let's get some more pop with it. Bend your arms, we'll get a little more bounce. A little more bounce, right? You can't bounce too much, but, but I'd rather have you take one, knowing that you're ready to go. Set, go. Good. Set, go. Set, go. Headgear drill, all right? You gotta be goofy to be good at wrestling. You gotta be goofy, all right? The second one, or the next drill you can do by yourself, every wrestling room has a wall. I'm gonna put him against the wall. This wall now becomes a partner who never gets tired. It's the great thing about the wall. It never gets tired. So he's gonna pretend like the, 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 the wall is his partner. The wall is right over here. In essence, the partner will be over on this side, hand on the belly here. He's gonna work on pinching. He's gonna work on Staying in his chair right here, his goal is to finish like this. Or to come up like that. Set, go. Right there, look at how good position he is there. Again, set, go. Elbows are in. Set, go. Good. Set, go. Good. Set, go. There you go. Let's go the other way now. He's going to face the other way. All right, so this is good. It teaches you, you know, everybody's got a favorite side. You don't want to have favorite sides. You want to be equally competent on both sides. So he's got to be just as good on the other side. Set, go. First move's got to be back into his opponent. This works great for an explosion stand-up or a sit-to-your-butt stand-up. Set, go. 